heck? Christian Kirk for that much money? Tanking, a word commonly used when a sports team intentionally tries to lose. I believe the Jaguars are intentionally trying to lose for the first overall pick again. But when you intentionally try to lose, you don't just drop $84 million in Christian Kirk. And I think they had to, so no one else would ever get him. Because we all know Christian Kirk is not top 15 wide receiver talent, so I don't understand why he's top 15 paid. He's paid higher than guys like Tyler Lockett, Mike Evans, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and Allen Robinson. He is definitely worse than all of those guys. Being a wide receiver, too, on a Cardinals team that was good but not good enough, and being paid $21 million to be Trevor Lawrence's made wide receiver is just something that shouldn't happen in the sport of football. And he ruined everybody else's chances of making anything happen because he's already pressuring them with the cap. Because other people are now going to be demanding massive extensions like Terry Kill, Devontae Adams, A.J. Brown, Stephon Diggs, uh, guys like Brandon Cooks. So overall, it was just a horrible move by the Jags, but maybe they're strategic. I think they might have been strategic because maybe they want everybody else to pay huge sums of money to other wide receivers as well and then tank the entire NFL. It just is ruining football, and it makes every team worse in the process, making less interesting football and making the sport overall worse. I know it's not Christian Kirk's fault. I would take $84 million even if it was from the Jags. But seriously, I can just show you the proof. Here's Christian Kirk's highlight reel. Now are you seeing what I mean? I mean, let's look at his production compared to some other players. I'm going to pass it off to Shane for this one. Christian Kirk is very overrated. He has like the same stats as Tyler Boyd, but very different contracts. Tyler Boyd is a three receiver for the Bengals. That's just crazy. But Christian Kirk was only good in 2021 because that was Kyler Murray's best season. And DeAndre Hopkins played like half the season. If DeAndre Hopkins played the full season, he'd probably have like 600 receiving yards. Yeah, it's crazy. Christian Kirk is just not good and... He never had a thousand yards, and so I don't know how he'll get it with Trevor Lawrence, because he doesn't have any other weapons besides Kirk, and Kirk is not very good at all. I'm gonna have to agree here with Shane on this one. Just looking at the contracts, for being very similar players, they seem to only be off by about ten million, which I think is pretty good. And Tyler Boyd, being the wide receiver three, had about the same stats as Christian Kirk. He had the same amount of touchdowns, just tiny bit lower uh, catch percentage, and a bit lower amount of yards. But we've seen in the past uh, Tyler Boyd can truly be a wide receiver one, and Christian Kirk really hasn't shown the ability to be that main guy. So I think it was a big overpay by the Jaguars. Tyler Boyd had some good quarterback play by Andy Dolan in the past, but now with Christian Kirk as well, I think he's going to take a significant dip in numbers going from Kyler Murray to Trevor Lawrence. Sure, Trevor Lawrence might bounce back at some point, but there really is nothing that shows that he should be the wide receiver one in Jacksonville. Now, you may notice I'm leaving a whole other part of the video title. Why does Tank get your own football? Um, so if you think about it, Christian Kirk being paid that much money, if you were a really good wide receiver, wouldn't you want to be paid more than Christian Kirk? Huh? Yeah, that's why there's so many expensive contracts going around in the NFL right now. Alright, so, for example, take a team like the Packers. They really couldn't afford to get Adams back, even though they offered him a bigger contract. But Devontae really didn't want to go there because they had to franchise tag him to keep him to begin with. Um. So basically, I'm saying that they had less salary cap room so they couldn't sign him. So when he went to the Raiders, they have to sign him. And then now the Raiders don't have much salary cap room because they have to get a guy like that is worth $30 million per year. And also Green Bay fails because now they don't have probably, I'm going to say top two wide receiver in the league to make no one mad. Um, so basically, it kind of ruins everybody. I mean, guys like Tyreek Hill as well. The Chiefs definitely fell off because of that. But the Dolphins as well have to take on be him. Be- 
Now, let's say you're a team now who has little to no salary cap room. How are you ever going to get better? How's the sport as a whole going to get better? Will people just sit in free agency? Because if they want more money, but no one, because of the cap, is allowed to give them that money, are they just going to sit there? Wouldn't that ruin the sport? And wouldn't that attract more talent away from it? Making the game overall worse? I mean, just let that sink in. Stephon Diggs got a big extension. Buffalo also signed Von Miller to a crazy contract for a pretty old guy. And I'm pretty sure it's all because the Christian Kirk game paid so much. Everybody's like, if this guy deserves $21 million per year, I'm going to get the bag as well. And it's really making everyone worse as a whole. Because now the good teams can't improve. The bad teams are the only ones improving. And it just makes the whole sport equally balanced, which most of the time is not fun to see because there's never going to think about how the Rams are going to deal with this or a team like the Packers. They've hit their ceiling now because of how much they have to pay players. It's just not going to be possible for any of the teams to improve. And football's just going to get boring. No fans equals less money, which means less money to spend on those free agents who want more money. Debo Samuel. No one's going to want him because of how much money he's taking and how many picks you'd have to give up. Picks equal cheaper players and probably just as good amount of players. Jamar Chase, like $10 million a year, and he's really good because he was a draft pick and he didn't get his extension yet. With Debo Samuel, nobody wants a guy who's due for his extension. You even see him mediocre. I mean, not even mediocre. He's pretty good. But A.J. Brown being the fourth paid fourth highest paid wide receiver in the NFL for not fourth highest wide receiver play. It's just crazy now what these people want just because they all saw Christian Kirk getting that money. So I think that pretty much wraps up my points I want to talk about. Uh, Leave your thoughts in the comments below on what I've said, if you agree, and credit to Shane for helping me make this. And that's pretty much all I have to say.